race car and race team is we see Jimmy Johnson really using up all the racetrack, just driving this race car for everything it's worth. Last time by. This time by. They were almost equal on lap times. And as you said, DJ, the longer they run in previous runs, the better Carl Edwards' car gets. And the problem is, is that as Carl closes in here just a little bit, as he gets closer, then Jimmy has to make sure that he hits his mark because one slip can cost him the race then. He's only got a lap and a half to hold him off because they're going to get the white flag this time by. Jimmy Johnson's got four more corners to hit right here. Four left turns away from the lion's share of a $9.6 million purse. Well, he was about perfect with that corner right there. So was Carl Edwards. Johnson looked like he got through that corner and off of that corner really well, not to let Carl get a good run on him down the back stretch. That was real critical because this long straightaway right here could decide it. Four hours ago, over 250,000 fans asked themselves, who will it be? Who will win the All-State 400 in 2008? They all had different answers. The checkers. Another perfect corner. Jimmy Johnson did a great job there. His crew, congratulations. Just a fantastic job. Out of turn four and two-time NASCAR Sprint Cup champion, Jimmy Johnson becomes a two-time winner at the Brickyard.